All right, let's cross over back to Nikki Gitonga. He's joining us live from Kuala, where people who are using drugs there want to be categorized as vulnerable community and be given some food also during this time when there's restriction of movement order imposed by the government there. Nikki, good morning. If you can hear me now, how much food has been distributed so far? Well, uh, food is yet to be distributed by the county government. What the county boss has said uh, yesterday, by, uh, yesterday but one, he said that uh, they are finalizing the register of all those uh, vulnerable families in the county so as to start uh, the process of uh, distributing food door to door. And that's the reason why most of the drug users in Kuala, that uh, they are about 3,500. They are saying now they, ha they want to be considered as part of vulnerable families because uh, uh, their daily uh, income was was cut short due to the restriction orders that were put by the president uh, just to try to contain coronavirus. Most of these drug users, they used to work as matatu tout. Some of them, they were working as uh, curio sellers and tour guides uh, along the beach. And with the closure of most of the hotels, it means their daily income or their daily bread has been cut short. Maybe you can see uh, we are at a dropping uh, center that is uh, Teen Swatch. That's where most of the drug users come here to receive food and also some sort of treatment but due to the restriction orders uh, it means their movement has really been hampered and right now i just want to talk to the uh, the director in charge of uh, teen Swatch, cosmos minor uh, two quick uh, straight questions let me ask you what is the major challenge posed uh, due to the restriction orders to most of the drug users whom you are rehabilitating okay thank you very much uh, nikki my name is cosmos minor uh, the director of teen Swatch. We have a very big challenge currently after this restriction order. Uh, we serve about 120 uh, drug users that come to our center. Uh, currently, we are overwhelmed by the feeding program, the nutrition program. Uh, instead of feeding the 80 that we used to feed, now is 120. What we are asking the county government of Kuala to do is to consider this population, the key population here, as a very vulnerable, one of the very vulnerable groups in Kuala County. So that as they give us, as they give food out, they distribute food, then they can consider this uh, uh, population because of lack of uh, jobs, lack of support, they cannot be able to feed themselves. In terms of their, my last question, in terms of their treatment, is, has it been hampered in any way due to the restriction order? Of course, of course, the movement from, uh, from Shimoni, from Vanga, from Lunga Lunga, for them is very difficult to access methadone and methadone is helping them a lot. Now, if they don't take methadone, they will have what we call a roster or withdrawals. When they have withdrawals, then again, issues of crime, issues of mugging and all that will have to increase and stealing. So we hope that the county government can give us an ambulance or a vehicle that can take methadone to the sites and the places where the dens where this uh, population is taking drugs from. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, that's the Cosmas Minor, Dr. Cosmas Minor from Teen Swatch. He's the director in charge of Teen Swatch that uh, rehabilitates those uh, drug users. And he's saying uh, as a result of the restriction order that was put in place by government, you know, most of these uh, drug users hail from Vanga, Shimoni, but due to the withdrawal of uh, PSV vehicles, it has become very difficult for them to access treatment and it has also made it difficult for them to have food and even shelter. So that's why they want the county government to consider as, is, uh, as it continues to register those people uh, whom they term as uh, vulnerable families to also consider this sector of group uh, so that when the relief food uh, starts to be distributed, they also be being considered. That's all I have for now. Back to you in studio, Trevor. Well, thanks, Nikki. Nikki Kitonga, they're speaking to us live from Kuala.